Uh, welcome to this new video. In this video I want to present you a detailed camera review of the Huawei P50 Pro. So let's get started. Let's talk specs first. So this is the camera system of the Huawei P50 Pro and here we have the main 50 megapixel camera 40 megapixel monochrome, 13 megapixel ultra wide angle, and the 64 megapixel telezoom 3.5 times magnification that can go up to 10 times hybrid zoom. We have a dual LED flash, we have a color sensor as well that can perform in a way that it creates a nice accurate color photo. On the front we have a 13 megapixel ultra wide angle camera that besides the one times can go out to 0.8 and 0.6 times. It can do this automatically for group shots. So this is a recording with the Huawei P50 Pro in its highest resolution possible 4K 60 frames per second. Many of you requested that I do a bit of higher resolution shots and higher uh, quality videos so here it is and I'm here in Cologne at the Ebertplatz and behind me you probably can see some ducklings uh, walking around this little pond here and uh, what I want to do right now is uh, give you some photos and of course some video to see how good this camera can perform. Let's start with the obligatory selfie and uh, as you can see here, high dynamic range is good. The sky in the background is really blue. And uh, did you notice something maybe? Yeah, there's also the feature that allows you to remove passes by, like the one on the uh, right here. And yeah, he's gone. If you zoom in a little bit, you can see that it is like a not very good effect but for a smartphone display i think it is more than enough here now a quick zoom test you can zoom in video up to 10 times and around 3.5 times you will see a jump where it will go to the telezoom periscope lens and the quality is i think quite fine for 4k 60 frames per second then I took some photos of the ducks in 10 times zoom and I think the quality is also pretty nice for a 10 times zoom hybrid zoom. If I'm crazy enough I can go even to 20 times but then you will see that the photo quality degrades a little bit. But I think the 10 times zoom is the sweet spot here for the P50 Pro where you have a good compromise between quality and zoom capability. Uh, when it comes to ultra wide video I can only shoot in 4K up to 30 frames per second. If you want to go and shoot 4K 60 frames per second the ultra wide angle just disappears from the menu which is a bit unfortunate I would say. I'm not sure but I think on the Mate 40 Pro it was possible to record with the ultra wide angle also in 60 frames per second on 4K. Otherwise of course you can switch down to 1080p and then you can record in 60 frames per second as well. One unique feature that celebrates its return on the P50 Pro is the mono sensor which allows you to create monochromatic photos with a unique micro contrasty look that is very very cool. It's fancy where technology can bring us this is the monochrome lens and you can record videos with the monochrome lens and yes I tested it it's you really using the monochrome lens instead of the main camera and just yeah, remove the colors so you get this nice monochrome kind of look that you can only get with a sensor that really has monochrome. The slow motion feature Huawei was praised so much is still there but in a slightly downgraded manner with 960 frames per second in full HD. And of course the P50 Pro allows also dual video recording so you can see what is in front of me there and you can see myself as well which is pretty cool and awesome and I have the possibility even to zoom in as you can see here five times digital zoom is possible on this one 
Uh, what is not possible is the possibility to change uh, the camera somehow, the front facing camera somehow, to something else. So this is sadly not possible like on the Honor phones where it was possible. But I can change the microphone, so I can change that either the back microphone or the front microphone is in use here right now. As I'm having my normal microphone attached, I hope it is using this one. The story creator mode is new and I would have loved to include the audio here, but I had to remove it due to copyright issues on YouTube. When taking a selfie video, you can switch between three different zoom levels, so you can go out to 0.6 times, you can go out one times, or you can go to the default 0.8 times. Here another zoom test taken at a pretty historical cinema building in Cologne. And as you can see here, I'm zooming into this little movie poster here. And at three and a half times, five times, it looks pretty okay. Ten times and twenty times are the ones that are still looking amazing. And you can get up to 100 times where you can read like the individual words on the movie poster, which is pretty cool. Close-up shots can work nicely with the bokeh of the large main sensor, but if you get too close it switches automatically to a super macro mode which uses the ultra-wide angle for getting a bit closer. The time-lapse feature is gladly still there and you can record in full HD. When it comes to the camera app, it's nice and snappy and it's the same camera app that we know already from Huawei. So we have a night mode, we have an aperture mode, we have a portrait mode, we have a normal photo mode with beauty effect, a video mode where you can have also a beauty effect if you want to. We have a pro mode where we can also not only change all the settings that we want to, but we can also record a video, change our shutter speed to whatever we like to, change our focusing to manual focusing if we like to manually focus on something here. Then we have, of course, under more, a few other options, just like the monochrome lens option that allows us to use the monochrome lens. And then we have also a time-lapse mode, dual view, high res resolution, uh, photo capture, panorama, light painting, document, snapshot mode. So if you want to take quick action shots, use the snapshot mode, which allows you to do this very quickly. We have a slow motion, AR lens, stickers, story creator, which is new, and multicam, which needs another harmonious device to work and you can switch in between cameras. I already showed you this, but I will give you a nice example right now. So this is now a multicam example. I'm using the Huawei P50 Pro right now, but I can also switch to my Mate 30 Pro, which is standing right there. And it's all recording through the uh, P50 Pro and here you can see me right now on the Mate 30 Pro and uh, everything is recorded via the also the audio via the P50 Pro which is pretty nice you can have a multi-cam setup if you like to on this device so this is pretty awesome let me switch this one master device only so I have to switch here on the P50 Pro but this is what you can expect in terms of a multi-cam support which works quite nice the multicam footage that you saw right now was 1080p, 30 frames per second. You cannot get higher with this. I did not find an option for this. This is now 4K on the front facing camera in 60 frames per second. This is also something very unique. I would say not every flagship is doing 4K 60 frames per second on the front cam. Last but not least, night mode or darker conditions and low light conditions. The Huawei P50 Pro is a nighttime or low light condition king. So low lights where there's a little bit of light shining through are still fantastic. The only problem that I have is I don't really need night mode anymore. Only if you have completely dark situations, the night mode can do something. Otherwise, the sensor is so big 
and the RYYB color filter array helps so much in lightening up the photo that it's not really necessary to use the night mode. My conclusion of the Huawei P50 Pro. Legend Reborn is what Huawei claims and it feels in many ways like this. On the other hand, if you have the Mate 40 Pro already, it looks like it's an iterative, iterative step. It's a bit better than the Mate 40 Pro, but it's not so much that you have to switch from the Mate 40 Pro to the P50. The same goes for the P40 series to the P50. The benefits of a large, nice sensor that is basically the same as on the P40 is not really there. There is of course some improvements in night mode, night photography. There is a new snapshot mode that still lags behind the competition when it comes to the Xperia 1 Mark III or the 1 Mark II even, where it just is blazingly fast in taking snapshots even in zoomed in shots, which the P50 Pro has sometimes this shutter lag, which is not very good for fast moving subjects. The improvements in terms of adding a snapshot mode is pretty cool, but I would like to have a quick way to enable this somehow, so I don't have to go into the menu under more and then create, uh, click on or tap on snapshot to create a photo. So this is something that Huawei has to improve. Video mode is excellent. There's stabilization, 60 uh, frames per second in 4K is excellent. There's nothing colors, HDR. Excellent. Um, you can tweak the colors to the way you like it. By default, it's a bit of punchy and unnatural looking color. But if you want to go out and just take a shot, just take a phone and just have my experience here, take a shot with the phone. The P50 Pro is ideal. You just forget about it. If you know a bit about framing, then you get like excellent, extraordinary shots. If you don't, you still get very, very good shots because the AI is doing so much to help you. And uh, yeah, I really like that, I have to say, because you can just click and forget. And yeah, this is basically the Huawei P50 Pro. But not only click and forget, but also the uh, Pro mode is still there. So if you want to tweak here and there, if you want more natural colors, you can get it with the P50 Pro in Pro mode. So it's there. You can even use Pro mode in video. I would like to see more improvements like for example, focus speaking for manual focusing, uh, some other assistant modes as well in pro mode. So Huawei has to work a little bit on pro mode still. This is an area where other phones and manufacturers are still a bit ahead of Huawei. But in general, I'm. it's like something that was very good already is getting a little bit better. So what can you say? It's a very, very good phone. And I'm very surprised by the zoom capabilities because the zoom, the 10 times hybrid zoom is really good. It can compete even with the P40 Pro Plus's 10 times optical zoom. But this is something I will show you in a later video. Talking about a later video and some stuff here, of course, all the shots that I took right now, you can get down there in the description. There's a link to the shots and you can watch, can take a look at them, download them, uh, take a look at them on your uh, big screen, on your big television if you want to, to see how the quality of the P50 Pro photos is really. The video clips, sadly, I will not <laughs> link there. I don't have so much space to do this. Even yeah, editing this video is, takes a lot of time and effort, especially because it's 4K 60 now. So it is like a very, very big file. So I will reevaluate if I will do this every time 4K 60. Maybe if I want to up my game a little bit in terms of video quality, I will go to 1080p 60 frames per second. Mm. But you can also write in the comment section what you think about this uh, camera review. This is everything for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Until the next time, bye.